guys welcome back to my channel so it is the weekend and today I'm just gonna be running some errands I have to go to the post office to ship out a few Poshmark orders I want to go to home goods to get a few candles because I'm out of candles right now and I'm obsessed with candles so I want to get a few to stock up out of my house I need to go to the store and stock up on a few things and then yeah so I'll just take you guys along with me and I hope you enjoy this weekend vlog if you are not subscribed already please subscribe because I'm uploading new videos weekly so here we go the weather today is so misleading because I walk outside it's so sunny I'm like oh it's nice out I don't have to wear a coat I walk outside okay yeah I need to wear a coat it's definitely not warm enough it's like 45 degrees and sunny which I'm not complaining because that's a lot better than snow or rain but I just can't wait for summer I can't wait for spring I'm so excited I'm in such a better mood when it's sunny out so I'm really looking forward to that Went into Home Goods thinking I would buy like maybe two or three candles. Pretty sure I walked out with like seven. <laughs> So I just finished a very large grocery shop. Honestly, with everything going on in the world right now with the virus and people panicking and freaking out, I just wanted to be prepared and make sure I was fully stocked up and not really trying to leave the house unless it's absolutely necessary just to ensure that I am taking all the proper precautions that I need to. So I just stocked up on a ton of fruits, a ton of vegetables, organic chicken, organic turkey. I got a bunch of that because I'm going to freeze some of it as well. Pastas, quinoas, rices, sweet potatoes, tons of stuff. And then I also got tons of snacks hummus vegetables things to just have on hand here are all the candles I got from home goods I got one two three four five six candles and I was out of them so I wanted to stock up and they were actually a pretty good price like I think these were seven dollars these were seven that one was only ten it's pretty big and then that one was seven so not too bad but I need to stock up I usually like having one in like every single room I also bought this from home goods I usually have fresh flowers on this table and I love doing that but sometimes I just don't get around to it and then they die so I wanted to get something that I could kind of keep there um, I think right now this is like all too cluttered I need to figure this out but I put this candle here because I like how it has the wood on the top this is the sand and fog brand from home goods I love their candles they are so good they also have a wide reach which means like if you light them in this area I feel like I can smell it from like a different room which is a bonus and a plus so yeah this is what I am working with but I need to like rework that and then also this thing over there the but first coffee thing I bought a new little sign if you will because that one I have all of the um, mugs hanging and I just like don't love it I feel like it's like cluttered over there if you know me I'm like a super simplistic person and right now I just feel like there's so much going on over there when I'm cooking and I'm filming it's like a million things in the background so I bought a new one and it was supposed to get delivered yesterday but for some reason the FedEx guy said he couldn't find my apartment so it's supposed to be coming today so stay tuned for that I will put it up with you guys and you can see if it looks better than the one I have now okay <laughs> huge grocery haul coming at you I still stocked up obviously so we will just get started I have tons of broccoli in here tons of Brussels sprouts and some cauliflower I've been loving roasting that in the oven or the air fryer I bought a bunch of turkey I have another one in the fridge and I'm going to freeze one of them I got tons of organic chicken and I plan on freezing one of those as well I got my turmeric coconut wraps for lunch a big thing of jasmine rice and then I also have tons of quinoa already stored so I'll probably use those two for a main source of carbohydrates as well as sweet potatoes but I'll get into that I've been loving this cereal just for like a good crunch um, it's a protein cereal has gluten-free and the ingredients are pretty good so I'm trying out the honey flavor 
Um, some oatmeal for the morning. That's easy with tons of fruit. I also got my favorite Mary's crackers. These are amazing to have with hummus and the ingredients are so clean. I'm in love with those crackers. I got some farro as well, so I'll probably have that for some dinners and I'm going to cook that in the Instapot because yesterday I cooked quinoa in the Instapot and it was like a game changer. <laughs> um, I got bananas. I have a few more in my fruit bowl over there. I got this echinacea to help my immune system during this time. I bought my favorite hummus. This is the Ithaca brand and I get the lemon garlic flavor and the ingredients are so bomb, so clean and it's delicious. Some avocados, I only got two because I have some already. Tons of organic blueberries. Um, some of this Mykonos butter, it's a vegan butter and everyone has been raving about it. Super excited to try it. Tons of lemons. I also got some clementines to have as a snack. I got some strawberries. I also have some in the fridge already. I think I missed back here, but I also got some balsamic vinegar. I love topping that on with salads and olive oil. My favorite almond milk. This is the Three Trees brand. It's super clean ingredients. There's only four, and I love this. Organic, non-GMO, all of that. Two things of spinach and spring mix for salads. Tons of sweet potatoes. I also have a few more of these that I need to cook and then I got two more. Because I do cook, just so you guys know, I cook for myself and my boyfriend, so that's why I have so much stuff. Bean sprouts, I love those on lettuce wraps. So good and just to top onto salads. These matchstick carrots for salads. Regular carrots for hummus dipping. Cucumbers, I love these, I already got into them. I cut up a bunch of different bell peppers and I keep it in this slasher bag to keep on the go, super handy. I got tons of frozen vegetables because I wasn't sure what the deal is gonna be. So I got a Asian stir fry blend, a rainbow blend, and a California blend. And truthfully, I do like to get my vegetables organic, um, but this is all that they had and I only wanted to get a few and make sure there was enough for everybody else. So I just got those three and they'll be fine. And then I also got two things of K-Tree Large Brown Organic eggs but yeah I think that's everything I have some stuff already I have protein bars and other stuff that I'm not showing here because I didn't buy it in this haul but I do have stuff that I'm already stocked up on but this should last us so quite a long time especially with the frozen meat and the frozen veggies so yeah this is what I got super nutritious healthy foods to keep us going for the next couple of weeks so that should probably last Matthew and I like two weeks like I said, I got a lot of frozen vegetables and I can freeze the meat. So the only thing that will probably run out quicker is the fruit. But that's okay because I can always run out if we need to. But I hope everybody is staying safe. And don't forget to fuel yourself with healthy, nutritious food to keep your immune system up. I'm such a firm believer in this, but health is wealth. And you are what you eat. And it's so true because when you eat healthy, nutritious foods that are fueling your body and making you feel good and energized and light after you eat, that is always a good sign. Um, if you're eating something that's a little bit more processed, something with a lot of sugar, artificial flavors and sweetenings, you are going to feel it after. And I mean, we're all human. We're all gonna live our lives one way or another. And obviously don't limit yourself, everything in moderation. But I think during this time, it's so important to eat healthy, nutritious foods that are gonna help your immune system and building that up and continuing to make sure you're healthy. I just got a new package. I ordered some Nespresso's. So I'm excited about this. I'll do a little unboxing and then I need to wash my hands. <laughs> If you've been watching my vlogs, you know I've been obsessed with making like at-home lattes with my Nespresso machine. And I asked you guys on Instagram if you could recommend some good ones because I have like my favorites, but I wanted to try out a few different ones. I got these from their website, but I got the Intenso. And this one is really, really good. It's really smooth. It has the caffeine level of nine. So if I want like a little bit more caffeine than usual, I'll probably do this one. And then this is the one that I always make like this is what i make usually like every day and then if i want something stronger i'll do the intenso but this is the malazio i think you pronounce it and it's the caffeine level of six so these are like the coffee sizes i guess you would say so these two and then this is one that was recommended by a friend this one is the altiso and this one is i think a double shot caffeine level of nine but it said really smooth and creamy and that just like caught my attention right away because anything creamy i love um so you guys can see that one here but yeah i'm excited to try that one but yeah also i like adding my own milk and my own ingredients because a lot of milks that you'll get at like coffee shops are full of like fillers and gums and artificial sweeteners and flavorings so i like to have the option to do my own milk and i think it just tastes a lot better when you make it at home so i've been loving loving doing this lately
So I want to work out, but all the gyms are closed. So luckily I live right near um, the bike path. So I think I'm going to go for like a little jog, a little run, maybe listen to a podcast. And then I have weights and like ankle weights in my house. So I'll probably just do like a little at-home workout. But just going to work with what I have. And it's more so just to get my mind right. I feel like when I work out, it's more so just for my mental state. And I feel like in general, my digestion is always so much better when I'm working out. And I just feel a little bit better. My metabolism is running faster so that's why I want to work out in these times it's not about like getting shredded and like being super lean and like losing weight it's not really about that at all for me it's just more so like keeping my body moving and my energy up my metabolism moving and all in all I feel like it's just so much better for my digestion Woo! just finished a two mile run felt really good I, I honestly am not like the biggest fan of running um, definitely more of like a gym or a hit kind of girl like circuit training or cycling spinning you guys know I love that um, so I'm not like super into running but I'm really enjoying this opportunity to get me to explore like new workouts and different workouts and outdoor exercises as well whatever just kind of gets your heart rate going so yeah just in general that was really nice and it felt really good and it's out I'm outside obviously so it's sunny so I feel like I had the sun shining on me so that's getting my endorphins up and it's making me really happy so that was good I always say do the best with what you have and don't stress out about it like yes um you know working out in a gym or going to a class is a little bit more regimented and structured but it's not a big deal you know it will reopen eventually and I think right now it's just important to stay healthy and to do what you want to do with what you have and what you can so it's the little things that I think make the biggest difference oh my gosh walking inside from outside is like so hot in here even though outside it's still pretty chilly it's so warm inside need some water those are what I have they're like eight pound ones um, so I'm just gonna do some stuff inside and do some more like strength training a little bit more endurance I need a shower <laughs> okay but I am all complete with my workout I did a two mile run outside which was really nice and then inside I just did a bunch of different stuff that I will put in this video so you guys will see um, but I just wanted to come on here and kind of talk a little bit and also I'm gonna end off the video pretty shortly but I think in this time the most important thing to do like I said outside is just do the best that you can with what you have so that means if you have no gym equipment in your house at all but you want to be active and you want to move just find an online workout that you can do inside your house literally I don't have much room here but I made it work and it was fine um, there's workouts on YouTube there's several different apps so there's so much out there there's so many resources that you guys can utilize just to get your body moving if you are an active person and do like to go to the gym I know that this time can be kind of tough if the gyms are closed and we have to be inside but it's definitely for our best interest so there's opportunities and so much that you guys can do inside to move your body and just to go outside and run or walk 
whatever you enjoy doing is amazing. Um, but I hope everybody stays safe during this time and I wanted to thank you guys for watching this video. Please give it a like, give it a thumbs up, it really supports my channel. And don't forget to subscribe because I will be uploading new videos weekly. And if there's video suggestions that you guys want to see, please let me know. I will put my Instagram here so you guys can message me on there or in the comments down below. Um, don't forget to tick the notification bell so you get uploaded or so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay safe out there. I will see you in the next one. Bye.